When I call uh, back the 1940s and 30s, I will find in Sin there were people of different religions living. Parsis, Yahudis, Sikhs, Hindus, Muslims, and they all lived together. There was a complete unity for the development in the country. In 1947, there is a World Bank report that says that Sin was the 55% higher in per capita income than whole of Pakistan, other provinces. Today, Sin is only 14% higher than other provinces in Pakistan and uh, per capita income. So this is a decaying kind of process that is really taking place. Uh, because of various issues, you can all understand. In my view, this is the governance and the disunity of the people living in sin unless we are united. When Pakistan was made, people who migrated from India were fully welcomed by the people of sin. As Nisa said that 10 left people had left and sin had to bear that brunt. But then some of the other things had been improving. In 1938, Sindh Muslim League was the first party and its leader GM said who got his resolution passed about Pakistan. Then 1943, Sindh is the first assembly, Sindh was the first assembly to get this resolution passed. It was a precondition for Pakistan that if Pakistan is to be made, at least one assembly out of these four constituent units must pass a resolution. And it was sin which passed a resolution and welcomed all the people to this, uh, this promise. 1932, if we recall, Sakhar Barak was made. And how many people from Punjab and other parts of the country came and resided in this part uh, of the country later on. So these are the things, these are, there are many things one can really talk and we are just trying to emphasize. We want to raise issues and discuss the issues of sin. For example, there is a big issue of influx of population in sin. How the people are coming from up country, other countries of the world and the great burden on the, of the, on the economy of this world as I have already mentioned some of the figures. We want to develop. This promise needs to be developed. We have no real system of economic employment. There is no employment. There is no industry. And there are so many things. Dr. Kesar Bengali, who is definitely a very good economist, he will let us know further. And uh, Dr. Sain, Vajib Saab and everybody. How to get united? How to live together, how to develop this promise of sin. And once this promise is developed, the whole country is developed. This is what our message is that if we develop, if we unite together, all the communities, the, the differences in the Prime Minister comes to sin, he doesn't call the Chief Minister to meet him. A Chief Minister of Sin. Chief Minister of go to Islamabad, he doesn't meet uh, the Prime Minister. Mayor doesn't call on the Chief Minister. They don't give money to the Minister Corporation. There are so many things one can really think about the local government and so many issues. So I think this is a time, a proper time, when the intellectuals sitting together in this hall and this under this forum can really come up with some suggestions and with so many things, ideas that we can really build on those ideas and develop and really unite so that things can be, uh, things can get a better shape.